On March the 23rd, 2012, Ohio basketball season ended against North Carolina in overtime in the Sweet 16 in St. Louis. On March the 23rd of 2016, Ohio's season ends in the postseason again in the CBI in the semifinals in Athens with the 77-72 loss to Moorhead State. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius joins me. This is our final recap of the season, supported by Donwood Toyota on the web at donwoodtoyota.com, 900 East State Street in Athens. We'll recap cap this game in the season the game first Rob Ohio was down by five at halftime hit shots in the second half didn't turn the ball over as much they didn't steal it as much this was a very high level ball game Moorhead made more plays and they win yep really did and Ohio dug themselves a little bit of a hole but didn't really pay for it the half only down five scored 24 first half points scored 48 second half points doubled their total there but for Ohio the die was cast first half Moorhead at one point had 20 more shots to half and you could see their defensive style forcing turnovers with steals and creating way more possessions. Moorhead wasn't making a lot of shots, but they had so many more shots in possession. Three and double figures for the Bobcats. 21 for Jerron Simmons. 20 points for Treg Setti as he ends his Bobcat career. And 15 for Kenny Kaminsky. Treg's career ends and he gave it all he had. Yep, big in this year's postseason. Obviously 20 tonight, five boards. But he was a guy when Ohio needed critical baskets. He was a guy who could find space and did important work on the floor defense list. He was able to defend two if not three spots in the man-to-man -man sets. And... Big picture, Treg did us very, very proud in this final season in Ohio. Went down to the wire, Moorhead State. Hopefully they win the whole deal because you want to lose to the champion. They'll take on the winner of Nevada and Vermont in the best two out of three championship series in the CBI. They are 22-12 and 12 in Ohio, 23-12. and 12. And Ohio lost to a pretty good team. Yeah, really did. And their style is going to be hard hard for some teams to deal with. All the defense, all the pressure. Ohio did prevent them from getting a lot of easy twos, a lot of coast-to-coast -to -coast and stuff tonight. But in the second half, Moorhead finally hit some threes, finally showed some skill, and ran off 12-7 at the end to close this game. If it's Nevada, I think it would be a very entertaining series because Nevada wants to D you up, and they don't shoot the deep one all that much. It's going to be a slugfest if it's the Wolfpack and the Eagles. Yep, depends on the whistle you get. And tonight, Ohio got a decent whistle. Couldn't complain too much about that. Went to the free throw line more than 25 times, I believe, but just couldn't get enough from three. Ultimately, Ohio loses by five, and this is how it looked and sounded in front of nearly 4,000 in the best building in the MAC, in front of the best fans in the MAC. Now, I'll dribble, still dribbling, lob into the post. Campbell catches underneath the goal. Reverse layup, yes. Tied at two, Ohio and Moorhead State. Euro step into the paint, Arrington high on the left, Moon for three, and he banged it down. Now it's Simmons with the left hand. High on that left wing, now to the right elbow, backs it up. Kenny at the CBI logo, left side, deep three, bang! Low block left, one dribble, right hand hook, rolls around and off, rebound, Setti, got it, one dribble, goes back up against two, lost the ball, picked it back up, Baker, yes! Count it and a foul! High in the left wing, it's Maitland up to the point now, it is Marrero, deep two, and he knocked it down. Simmons guarded by Marrero at that part of the D, throws to Setti on the right side, and he is way taller than Maitland, and then they snuck in with the double, and they steal the ball away. Beaming down the floor for a right-hand thunder dunk for Lionel Gaines. Lionel Gaines. Throws it around the horn to the right corner, slashing his Gaines in the lane, hangs in the air, and scores from 10 feet away. Pressure coming now, Setti of the ball stripped, picked up by Moorhead, run to the goal, and a dunk for Beeman. And this is exactly what we told you they would try to do. Rico Marrero throws to the right sideline, now it's Moon. Back to Marrero, right of the paint, races, fires, and scores. Under a minute to go first half. Ohio got down six, down eight again, 29-21. More highlighter yellow than gold, though. Kaminsky right wing three, got a beaver, and he banged it down, that's big. First possession, a half two, will go to 10 on the shot clock. Simmons gets a little leverage, goes to the goal and laid it in on the left side. Left wing, it's Kaminsky, ball fake. Now he'll fire from three, bang, and we're tied. It's Simmons now, right hand dribble, beat his man into the paint, scoop layup, yes, a little kiss. Back to the bucket, now it is Marrero. High in the left for three, it's Collins, bang. It is Setti, drives with the right hand, gets in deep, banked it up, bang, counted in a foul. Sprawled out on his backside on the floor. Took the contact and kissed it in. Ohio has 17 wins in the all-time series. Morehead State has six. Left side, Setti for three. Bang! Dropped that right down that convo well. Some stand here. Getting loud on defense. Right sideline, Moon raises, fires, and bangs a three to answer. Now with five. He's way out high. He's at four. He's at three. Pop-up three on the way. Bang! Oh, we got a 
Dandy, baby. 48-46, Ohio on top two. Left side, a three for descent. Bang. Ball deflected. He got it back to the foul line. Jump stop. He's five feet out. Turn, shoots, missed it. Campbell there to pick up the trash and lay it in. And Ohio is up by three. This equals the Cats' biggest lead of the ball game. Baseline left with the rock and working in there and turning and trying to fire into the post. It's Marrero, and he laid it in. Simmons turns the corner, baseline right, but Moon catches up. Kaminsky open on the right side. Bang from three. I think Simmons may have fallen on the inbound, couldn't get to it. Right corner, Kaminsky for three. Front iron, no. Campbell got the rebound. Spins, dunks it with two hands. Timer at five, now at four. Drives down the lane, laid it up in with a high kiss. 65-63, he has 18. Two minutes left, we're tied at 65. Morehead State ball going to the left goal. High in the right, Collins for three, bang. Oh boy, what a big time shot and a deflator. Gets it to Dardis in the backcourt. Trying to give all he has. Crosses the center line, straight on three on the way. Nope, short, rebound Moon, and they will dribble it out. And Ohio's 2015-2016 season ends. In the semifinals of the CBI, 23 wins, 12 losses. This whole, this whole sense of community for Treg has been perhaps more important from the player's side than anyone that we've seen before. Well, he got an education, he got better at basketball. I think he found his place as a person. Without going into too much, he's had a fantastic time and made himself a lot better here in Athens, and we are so proud of him. So that's how it looked and sounded, and it was a 13-win difference from last year to this year. And when we left Kalamazoo, Michigan in the first round of the MAC tournament last year, um, there was a lot of looking forward. It was a rough season, to be sure. Uh, but this one, the 13 wins, while it is a big-time turnaround, yep. I don't think it even says how much Ohio improved from year one to year two in the Saul Phillips era. Yeah, there weren't that many bumps, and there was a lot of growth. There were good signs early on in the season. The near misses with Tallson, Bonaventure, teams that were highly ranked and rated over the course of the season. Better in league after, again, a very tough start in league. Lose a couple of games this building early on. You were concerned where this was going, January 10, January 15. But from that point forward, Ohio turned the corner, was in play for the top seed or top two seeds in this league, all the way down the stretch, goes to Cleveland. This is a huge step forward for Ohio basketball and for Saul Phillips. As he said, these guys got to get better on defense, and maybe another body or two will help, but the ingredients are there. This is close. Yeah, no question about it. This team uh, is going to be in the NCAA tournament in the not-too-distant future. The program has been so good for so long that you can't have that big of a lull uh, from one NCAA tournament trip to another. There were some close wins. There were some close losses. There was convo magic. There was all of that. And the postseason was beneficial for a lot of reasons. Uh, this team, though, at the end, you could see the tired legs a little bit. They gave it all they had. Uh, but even with that said, the CBI was a good experience for Ohio. And the two postseason wins, that's valuable, too. Yep, no downside to three extra games, all the extra practices, but what, nearly 100 practices for this season. Saul puts them on a board in his office to count them up, and they would have been right at 100 or 101 yesterday big picture for this group there's not a lot of negative you can you can wrap into this it's been a positive year we had fun we yeah. had a really good time yeah we got a really good time and this team the most outstanding thing it doesn't show off as something like a nerd stat website no one looks at but this has been all year one of the top 20 most efficient offenses in america and we'll nerd out more with saul phillips next year and a little better explain to you what's going on but when these guys get touches they get good looks and they hit shots and this offense is fantastic and we got to thank the fans too because Game in and game out, games on TV or not, um, what we've been able to do here in our eight years of working together, uh, I know that, uh, that the fans have gravitated to that. Some might not like us. I mean, <laughs> it's probably an 85-15 thing you know 85 percent might like you 15 percent absolutely fave, hate your split is plus 70 you're doing fine man. yeah i hope so that's what we're striving for um but yeah the listeners have been there the viewers have been there much like the best fans in the mac for this team and these teams and this entire program we'd like to think that we're the best radio and, and tv crew in the mac and that's what we want to be even if we don't get that goal that's what we're trying to do yeah. and hopefully the fans feel that we way thank, too thank you for your support on twitter on the internet on the listening on the watching we're here for you, and we are always accessible. Even during the game, I swear I'm checking yeah. that phone all the time. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff going on. I'm, I'm surprised that you're even 
able to lock, yeah, to yeah. lock in on things that, that I say. But it's been a lot of fun to broadcast with you, and it's been a lot of fun to broadcast for you. Thanks to Jason Chapino and, and Derek Mashiro and the entire Bobcat TV crew. Uh, obviously, some changes moving forward for the better, no doubt. And we look forward to another season of Bobcat football and basketball in the future. But Bobcat basketball ends tonight with the 77-72 loss to Moorhead State. Yep. Baseball for you. We'll see you guys in the fall. Yeah, come on over to the Ren. Do a baseball game with me. Done. That'd be a lot of fun. All right. That's our final recap for basketball, supported by Don Wood Toyota on the web at DonWoodToyota.com, 900 East State Street in Athens. Ten wins last year, 23 wins this year, and huge strides in 2015-2016. Ohio loses 77-72 to Moorhead State out in the CBI semifinals, and we say so long from Athens. This is Bobcat TV.